Hey, I'm Jeremy Drolbeck with Treadstone Mortgage, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about investment properties. So this is up for all the investors out there, wannabe investors, and you know, although I'm in the mortgage business and, and originate a lot of loans, I also at one time had 15 rental properties. So I've, I've lived and breathed rental properties. I was the, the pre president of the Landlord Association in the Kalamazoo area. Got a lot of experience with investment properties, and it's something I really enjoy working with investors and helping them get going or further their investment business. So I just want to talk about some of the options there for investors because they differ um, compared to somebody buying a primary residence. And so let's just cut straight into the point on what investors really care about. The one thing that typically holds an investor back is the down payment side of all the numbers. There, you only have so much money uh, to invest and investors always wanna buy multiple properties, but they simply run out of cash. So the basic rules for investors, if, if it's a true investment property, is you gotta have 15% down for a single family home and 25% down for a multifamily, two to four units. When you get above four units, it's the commercial world and that's nothing that we really deal with. So we're a one to four unit investment property lender. So again, 15% down single family, 25% down for, for multifamily. Um, then there's credit score. Uh, credit score always comes into play. I get that question a lot. Um, the minimum score is a 620, um, although it, typically the numbers and, and the approval side of things work a lot better if we get over that about that 660 mark. So if you're an investor looking out there and you're kind of on the edge there, give me a call and I can give you some tips to improve things. Um, lastly, the other big kind of hiccup there that people run into is reserves. There's reserve requirements when you're purchasing investment property. There's a complicated formula depending on how many properties you have, but generally speaking, I would say you need six months reserve. What a reserve is, is six times whatever the house payment is left over in the bank after you close. And so as an example, six months reserves, if the house payment is $1,000, we'd have to have 6,000 in savings. So those are the things that kind of trip people up. Um, income, honestly, not typically a huge deal. If you got enough money to kind of get by with your personal situation, when you purchase an investment property, we count the rent that's generated off the property in there and uh, that rental income helps qualify. So don't worry as much about the income, worry more about the down payment and uh, give me a call. Let's come up with a, a plan for you to acquire some properties. I'm Jeremy Drobeck, Treadstone Mortgage.